For the second portion of this video, I would like to talk about the settings that I have added to this tool. Uh, I tried to add as many settings as I could to make this as flexible and configurable as possible. First up, you can change the team colors uh, for the background. The team colors are used in several places such as the bomb vent on, uh, depending on which team wins the bomb scenario. Next up are the player health options. Uh, everything is completely customizable here just like any other setting. You can choose the color for whenever you're healthy and the color for whenever you're hurt. And you can choose the type of effect that you want for um, the progression of your health. As well as define the keys that will be lit up. The same thing goes for the ammo counts. Uh, the footage you're seeing now displays uh, the different effects that I have added. There are three effects. Uh, the all at once effect which will change all the selected keys uh, gradually. Second effect is procedurally which will uh, change the keys in the sequence based on the percentage. And the last one is procedurally and gradually which will do the same thing as procedurally except it will have a nice gradient in between the two settings. Next up is the bomb event. Um, you can change the color for the blinking uh, of the bomb, you can change the color for the um, the priming light, uh, that's usually green in the game. Uh, you can also change which keys are lit up and you can change whether or not um, you want the flashes to be uh, like on and off or do you want them to be nice and soft and gradual and the last option in this is the displaying of the winning team uh, depending on whether or not the CTs defuse the bomb or not it will uh, either uh, light up the T color or the CT color next option is for the static keys now this is for the people who would like to keep certain keys on their keyboard a certain color uh, regardless of whatever happens in the game. Uh, for example, uh, I set mine to be WASD and space and control uh, because those are the movement keys and I really don't want them to change color. Last up are the flashbang settings. Now, the flashbang settings only include two options uh, enable, disable, and the flashbang color. Uh, you can do some neat effects uh, with the flashbang effect. If you set it to black, it will completely turn off your keyboard for the duration of the flashbang. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this neat little tool that I made.